Francis Ngannou versus Cain Velasquez. All right, this is a very highly anticipated fight. I know I anticipated it very highly. Cain Velasquez is this savage who, he's a legend. He trains with DC, he trains with Khabib. He's in like this monster of like a machine, AKA that just puts out these animals, right? He works super, super hard. He pushes his body to the limit. He's known for being one of the hardest workers. And then you have Francis Ngannou, who's this giant Cameroonian monster, right? He's 6'5 or something. He used to work in a salt mine and used to shovel, shovel salt every single day. And I guess what happens when you shovel salt every day at with his jeans, you just become this monster with two off buttons for fists. You know what I mean? He can literally touch anyone in the jaw and turn them off. Just completely knock them out, clean out. Dude is a savage of a Not to be underestimated. All right, this, this video has spoilers, so be prepared. But first, if you guys don't know me, my name's Isaac, this is my channel. I do MMA vlogs, I do match reviews, tips for wrestling. I do fight breakdowns, only fights that I feel like I'm qualified to like actually break down because like I wrestled for a long time and I did some boxing and kickboxing. I trained a lot, but like, I was never like number one in the nation or like an Olympian or anything. So eat your own and like just take what I say with a grain of salt. I plan on having an MMA fight by the end of this year. So follow me along on my journey. Hit the subscribe button. But jumping right into this, okay. Okay, so right here, like in the middle of the ring, you can tell clearly Francis has a full head over Kane. Francis's reach is like 83 inches and Kane's reach is 76. So Francis is a six inch reach over Kane. All right. All right, so when the fight starts, Kane actually brings it to Francis's side. He circles to Francis's outside. He circles to Francis's side of the cage, okay? And he initiates the contact by throwing a body kick, which Francis blocks with his arm and trying to go with an, uh, an overhand left where Francis counters with a, a left hand and it sticks on Kane. And then he uses this as a cue, right? He uses this left hand as like a feeler to judge his distance. And then he has his right hand loaded up and he goes for the haymaker and, Frank, and Kane slips it perfectly, beautifully gets right out of the way. Okay, nothing happens to him. At first, it seems like Kane is the much more technically sound fighter, just based on how light he is on his feet. You can see him miss a kick and he immediately spins around, hops back on his feet. He's just hopping around like he's not 240 pounds, like he's not this monster, okay? I have, all right, so you guys have a theory that people from the youngest age to like the oldest have about the same amount of energy, you know what I mean? So like little kids and like a grown up have the same amount of energy. It's just that when you get older, you have to move more weight. So it uses more energy. So Kane isn't showing this attribute at all. All right. Now I'm not a scientist and I'm not a doctor, so I could be completely wrong, but Kane looks like he's a lightweight fighting, right? Look at how he moves his head. Look at like his hands. He goes for a head kick. He immediately goes back. He's circling out. Okay. And then Fran like as he's circling out, Francis comes in, tries to hit him with a jab and then going with the haymaker. Uh, Kane actually slips all of these punches. Okay. Now at first it's easy to think that Francis just completely knocked Kane clean out and that like that it was over from the start and he just hit him on the button. But when you see it in slow motion, it's clear that Kane, Kane slips his jab and his overhand right goes for a double leg and Francis gets the left underhook, okay? So he's defending his double leg or his single leg, whatever he's going for. Basically, he's not letting Kane lock around his leg to take him down. So he's getting the underhook, he's picking it up and Kane's trying to like circle out and like as they're evening up, Francis is going for haymakers, swinging for the fences and Kane is slipping him, you know what I mean? He's not getting hit by anything. He's not, all right, so when he falls down, I'm making the argument that he's not knocked out because he stands up, he slips a punch, and then his forearm, and then Francis's forearm pushes him, like he makes him, he makes Kane shift his weight to his other side, and then like I think his knee gave out. He said something about that, and I do believe that he like that that's true. That's what actually happened. Like because you have to think, 
like Francis is this giant dude. He's this giant Cameroonian animal. His forearms are probably like three times the size of mine. And he comes and he's like, he's swinging and he's clubbing and he's like, he's doing all this with all of his force. So, like, you have all your weight on one leg. You were just like trying to shoot, you were driving, whatever. And then, like, all of a sudden, this forearm is coming and making you shift all 240 pounds on your other leg and your other leg isn't in like the perfect position it's actually like a kind of a bad position where it where your knee is like exposed and it's like putting your tendons in an awkward angle for Kane it, I don't know if it's whether he trains too hard or he's been in the game too long or he's been like he's just too old his joints are wearing out I don't know what it is but it's not his head it's not like it's not mental it's not his conditioning it's not his, you know what I mean? It's not his chin. He, like, he's still there. It's just his body fell apart in this fight. Now, that doesn't mean that Francis didn't deserve to have the win. Francis deserved every last bit of that. You know what I mean? His body was more prepared to go into war than Kane's was. And that speaks volumes. You can see exactly what happened. But I would like to note that Francis landed one uppercut. Okay, he landed one uppercut, which very well could have hurt him. And then he pushed, then Kane slipped the punch, he got pushed to the ground, and then he landed one more punch, okay? So, I want to note that Francis did not land that much damage. I mean, punches from Francis obviously deal like an insane amount of damage, but he did not completely piece him up. He didn't, like, win this fight handedly. I think he landed, like, three or four punches, and Kane, uh... Kane looked good. He was he was slipping a lot of the punches. You know what I mean. It didn't look like he was being like outclassed. But what happened happened. Kane lost. It was a good fight. Uh, I was very excited watching it, and it was crazy when it happened. I was not expecting that at all. Kane was the favorite. If you guys like that video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit my notification so you know, guys know when I post a video. Check out my vlogs. But until next time, I'll see you guys.